In our lessons we learn lots of methods of working out calculations. However, we also need to be able to use those methods in lots of different ways and situations. One of the situations we use our math skills in is problem solving. We use a special method to solve word problems called rucksack. Let's take a look at how rucksack works. R is for read the question. Let's face it, it would be pretty hard to solve a problem without reading it first. U is for underline important information. This is when we pick out the key information from the question. C is for choose the calculation. To solve the problem, we need to decide which mathematical operation to use. Now we're ready to solve the problem, which is S. A is for answer. Once we have solved the problem, we need to decide how we are going to write our answer. Should we write it as a number or a statement? C is for check. Does our solution answer the question fully? Let's take a look at rucksack in action. Here is the question we have to solve using rucksack. R is for read the question. First we have to read the question. Sophie has five coins in her pocket. How much money might she have? What is the greatest amount she can have? What is the least amount she can have? U is for underline important information. Let's underline the key information. First we have to underline five coins. How much money? Greatest amount. And least C is for choose the calculation. Now we need to choose the calculation. Well, what do you think it's going to be? Adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing? Well, we're adding up five different amounts, so I think it would be adding. Now we're ready to solve the problem, which is S. Now we need to solve the problem. OK, let's think about this. So, if £2 is the most valuable coin you can get, then, and she has five coins, then you must have to add five two pounds, like this. Two pounds, add two pounds, add two pounds, add two pounds, add two pounds, which would equal ten pounds. So that must be the greatest amount you can get with five coins. But the smallest coin you can get is a 1p coin. So, if she has a 1p, add 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 a 1p, that equals so the least amount you can have is 5p. A is for answer. But is that our final answer? No, we need to write up two sentences. The greatest amount Sophie can have is £10. The least amount Sophie can have is 5p. C is for check. To do that, we need to look back at the question. Five coins. Have both of our answers got five coins? Yes, they have. Are we certain that they are the greatest and least amount? Yes, because they use the biggest and smallest possible coins. Great, then we've solved it. So that's Rucksack in action. Every time you need to solve a maths problem, remember to use Rucksack. It certainly makes challenging tasks easier. Mm -hmm.